Hey everyone, Ben here. I hope you enjoy today's video. If you do enjoy today's video, don't forget to hit the subscribe button because we're trying to grow on the platform and turn on the notification bell to be notified of all uploads and live streams. And if you did like today's video, then don't forget to hit a like down below because it helps other people to find our videos. And don't forget to comment down below on any suggestions for content that you have or comment about today's content. Let me know what you thought. Let's get into the video. All right, so we're at episode 12 of the Pokemon Platinum Random as a Nuzlocke. Uh, so this video kicks off the new intro and the new outro I spent ages making uh, a few days ago So I hope you guys enjoy those uh, But I will say obviously after the intro every video to join me on my social links because it really does help I'm trying to grow people on my twitch and my discord so links to those are down below along with every other link But let's jump in so last episode we got to um, Slacy on town and we went through the unknown cave, so today we're going to do a quick team recap, and then we're going to start making our way towards Veilstone. So we're running with Redeemer, the level 26 Palkia, holding the Mystic Water. It's got the ability Pressure with Dragon Breath, Glare, Water Pulse, and Psycho Boost. We have Inferno, the level 26 Charmeleon with the Cleanse Tag, with Dragon Rage, Cut, Ember, and Force Palm with the ability Blaze. We have Konga, the level 26 Pseudo Wudo, holding the Quick Claw with Low Kick, Rock Throw, Faint Attack, and Block with the ability Rock Head. We have John Cena, the level 26 Machop, with Rock Smash, Seismic Toss, Foresight, and Vital Throw. We're holding the Expert Belt with the ability No Guard. We have Oblivion, the level 26 Honchcrow, with Astonish, Sucker Punch, Swagger, and Wing Attack, holding the Spooky Plate to boost the Astonish with the ability Super Luck. And we have OB Hive, the level 26 Vespaquen, holding the Shell Belt with Heal Order, Chatter, Defend Order, and Power Gem with the ability Pressure. Right, team recap out of the way. This is actually the first episode where I've got a full team as well. I haven't had a full team yet, so let's jump in. We're immediately going to go north out of this town and onto the next route, although there is a TM I can actually quickly pick up, so let's do that. I might as well do these battles too because I need XP, so what I might quickly do is try and grind John Cena up to 28 because that's when it evolves, and I really want to get my hands on that Machoke, so battle. Oh, you don't battle. Okay, well that sucks. Now, we did get our encounter on this route last episode, so we don't need to worry about getting it. Alright, what was the TM? Solar Beam, okay. I mean, Solar Beam's not a bad move, but... My only problem with running a move like Solar Beam is it's a two-turn move. Although, if you have the sun out with Sunny Day, uh, it's a one-turn, so... Oh, it's still a double battle? Oh, crap. Right, well, okay. You can stay in and go for the Vital Throw and the Magnemite. You should one-shot, but I've got to switch out you. I don't have anything that's good for this. Ooh. OB Hive, come in. There's no way that Magnemite is living my Machop. Not a chance. I am so happy I switched. Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> my Charmeleon would have got instantly wrecked. <laughs> Oof. Like, my Charmeleon would have absolutely got bodied. I honestly think that that Water Pulse probably would have one shot. Uh, okay, let's go for... Actually, no, let's go for Seismic Toss because that's set damage. Uh, and we'll go for Chatter because it's Stab. For anyone wondering how my Vespaquen has Chatter, it's because I had a Chatter TM that it was able to learn. Now, I know Milotic very well. Milotic is incredibly bulky, so... Oh, the, the flinch. Are you kidding me, dude? Right, let's go for a Vital Throw. Try and get, try and get as much damage as possible. Man, my low tick is scary because my low tick is power. Ooh. That did nothing. The bonk. No, oh, I was hoping that take it out. Uh, I got a heal. There's no way I'm outspeeding. And this is the first time in a while I've actually used, had to use an item inside of a battle. Uh, go for Power Gem. 
Could you please try to stop KO Mama Chop? That'd be great. No! Ah! Oh, man. Stupid Milotic. Uh, Sag. I hate you. I hope you burn. <laughs> oh, I knew that would happen eventually. Why does Machop evolve at level 28? <laughs> Uh, I thought that would separate it into two singles. I didn't know it would do it as a double. That's so stupid. Thanks for screwing me over, game. Bye-bye, John Cena. That sucks. I've got nothing to replace it with. I don't have another fighting type. I don't think. Uh, move Pokemon. No, I don't. I don't really have a good replacement for it yet. Oh, that sucks, dude. Why? Well, never mind. We're not leveling him up because he's he's gone. He 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 died. Well, that's so crap, dude. Like. Oh, yeah. I don't freaking get it. I'm just gonna avoid this trainer. Screw that trainer. Any any trainers in straw hats now? No. Leave me alone. <laughs> you know what? I, I should have anticipated the crit. But to be fair, I healed. I didn't think it would just I didn't think it killed from full. Apparently I was wrong. Ah! I forgot there was a double battle up here. That's it. In the future, I'm staying away from all double battles. Oh, look. This one's not too bad. Okay. Eevee and Skaroopy. Fine. Stupid. Durr. <laughs> Wait, why is my camera off-centered? Let me just fix that. There we go. That's better. Uh, okay, we'll force palm the Eevee, and we shall rock throw the Skaroopy. I mean, the Eevee should be an instant one-shot. Or not. Although, we did get the paralysis, so that's okay. Ow. Can these Pokemon please stop critting me? Seriously? Goodbye, Eevee. Stop knocking off my items! <laughs> Stupid Skaroopy. Man, Skaroopy's a lot more powerful than I gave it credit for. I mean, I know that Drapion is decent power, but... Like, I know for a fact that Drapion is decent power, but I didn't think Skaroopy was. Like, it's a first stage evolution, and I know its stat pool isn't the best. But then again, how many first evolution Pokemon have really good stats? Almost none of them, because, you know, that that's the whole point of them being base evolutions. I'm just going to freaking Dragon Rage. This shouldn't KO me. Nah, nowhere near. Even with two crits, it wouldn't do it. Like, I do love Combuskin, though. Combuskin is cool. I mean, to be fair, Gens 3 and 4 are the only two generations where I love all three starters. Like, yeah, Gens 3 and 4 are the only ones where I love all three stars. 
Like Gen 2, for example, I'm not the biggest fan of for Alligator, if only because in most generations, its moveset sucks. <laughs> Like, it's a physical water type that almost gets no physical water moves. It's it's ridiculous. I think the thing gets, like, Aqua Tail at, like, level 50. <laughs> but other than that, it doesn't really get much of anything else. Like, at all. Like, it genuinely doesn't get much of anything else. No, oh, this is easy. I can take this out. Oblivion, please instantly one-shot this thing. Thank you. Although I do love Execute's design. Execute's design is cool. I know a lot of people don't like Execute. I I, just, I happen to like Execute. I think it's cool, but... Alright, Kong, you can come and take this. Easy. Rock throw! Oh, no. Okay, we still got the hit, though. Nice. Decent, good damage. Kind of worried about this because that thing OP'd me last time. Ooh. Come on. Yeah. Good shiz, Conga. Good shiz. Oh, man. All right. I'm quickly going to come in here because I'm going to buy some Moomin Milks. That's almost all of my money, but you know what? Moomin Milks are awesome healing, so... I now have healing for days, because I've got one normal potion, I've got 19 supers, I've got 12 Moomoos. So, we're looking good when it comes to our items, which is nice. I do also have status restorers as well, so... We're not actually looking that bad as it pertains to items, which is really nice. Uh, we do get a new encounter, actually, by the way. But I'm going to get it further in the route. There's no point getting it now. Uh, you're 27 now as well, so we'll swap you out. Oh, Beehive, you can lead. I think it's funny, too, because a lot of the criticism I see for Vespaquen online isn't actually from Vespaquen. It's from Combi. Because in order to get Vespaquen, you need a female Combi. And it is infinitely more common to find um, male ones. Like, male combis are almost useless, because they just don't do anything. Uh, I don't have anything good for this, except for you. Doo -doo. I do apologize if I don't seem with it. Uh, the past two days, I've probably had four hours of sleep. I have been extremely busy the past couple of days. That's why I'm now bulk recording today. Because I need to, I need to record a lot of content. Because for those who don't know how I do my uploads, so like I bulk record many videos at one time, and then edit them all and get them all scheduled to upload one a day. But because of that, this would have been perfect for John Cena. Feels bad, man. Uh, I'll have to stay in. Anyway, as we're saying. So, I bulk record at one time, bulk edit at one time, bulk render at one time, and then bulk upload at one time. So that then for at least a few days, I don't have to worry about it so much. But like, the past few days, because I've just been so busy, I just haven't gotten around to it. So like, this episode, the next one, and the one after, are all going to be done one after, like, recorded one after another. Well... Save for any grinding I do between, because I probably will need to grind between the next episode. The one after, probably not so much, but definitely for the next one, because the next episode we're going to be taking on the gym in Veilstone, so. <sighs> okay, I am going to skip a few trainers here just to save some time. I'm going to come back and fight them when I need to grind, but... Alright, TM66, what is it? Mudsport, great. Well, that can be sold. Dun, 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 
Man, I do love this game. I'm really happy that this series is doing well viewership-wise on YouTube, because, like, this is going to be a long series. Like, there's going to be at least 30 to 40 episodes. So, like, you know, if all episodes were doing really bad, that would suck. I would still do it, but it would give me less of an incentive to do it. But now, like, it's doing alright, so it's just like, I can continue this and I'm having fun, so it's cool. I am switching out immediately. Congo, come in. Ah, got a spot right behind me here. There we go. Well, good job I switched. You should be able to tank this. You're a rock type. It's resisted. There we go. Boom. Goodbye. You are not blowing up and taking one of my mons with you. Go screw yourself. I already lost one mon this episode. I'm not losing another. Uh, I mean, I can send in Inferno for this. I don't think that this thing will have a water move. And if it does, it's not going to be a physical one. Ah. Seriously? No, dude, why? Thank you. That didn't... Okay. I should be able to take the rest out with Dragon Rage. Stop sand attacking me! <laughs> Stop doing it! Now, you want to talk about one Pokemon that suffers in every generation from a terrible moveset, Kabutops. It sucks, too, because Kabutops is a really good Pokemon. But, my God, its moveset is tragic. <laughs> Comparing it to, like, other water fossils like Amistar, Amistar has an infinitely better moveset. Bye bye, Hariyama. Because you ain't living that. It's a good job I gave my thing Psycho Boost now. Burn heal. I mean, I'll take it. Like, I ain't gonna say no to a free heal. Another Thunderstone. That's two this episode. Wild. Right, I'm probably going to end up getting my encounter here because there's an item in the grass that I want to pick up. Uh, okay, let's see. Oh, wait, if I lead with uh, Charmeleon, I might not encounter something yet. But then again, I just might as well, I guess. Let me just uh, heal people. I'm going to lead with Redeemer because Redeemer has my one guaranteed status move. At least for right now, anyway. I'm really hoping at some point I can get a Toxic TM or something, but... Or a Thunder Wave TM or something. Survey says. <laughs> I don't need it. Uh... Don't get me wrong. Chatot is a really good Pokemon, but I do not need it. Like, I already have multiple flying types on me, let alone I have a few in the box. Oh, come on. <laughs> wow. Nice. Ugh, Dragon Breath. Ah, I'm just going to speed up at this point. Get in the ball. Get in the ball. <laughs> Oh my god, get in the ball. Do you want the cherish ball? You do not want cherish ball. Dude, get in the ball. Oh my god. Hello? Get in the ball. I'm throwing two more balls. After that, I'm getting rid of you. What the heck? Get in the ball. Ow. Stupid chat up forcing me to heal. Why won't this thing catch? Oh, screw this. <laughs> no, get out of here. 
Stupid chat art. Man, chat art's impossible to catch. Dude, you gave me chat art, I could have had an Espeon. I'd have taken Espeon. Espeon's awesome. That seems to be like the running theme with this run. Like 80% of the Pokemon. Ooh, Magical Leaf. 80% of the Pokemon that I seem to be catching are either ones I do not need or ones I do not like. Or ones that just aren't good in general. Which in of itself is wild, but that's something I could sell. Ah, leave me alone. Yes, Espeon, I could have had you, but I don't because stupid chat up. <laughs> Right, I'm not doing this as a double. Hell no, I'm doing it as two singles. But then we can enter Veilstone and quickly get the Porygon account. This might be the longest episode. I'm just going to speed up now, I think, just to get through the episode. Because I really want to get into... Um... I don't have anything good for this. I normally don't like speeding up, but... This episode is dragging a little bit. Goodbye, Blastoise. Oh, you're learning Toxic! Hell yeah! Moltres? Uh, Conga, come in. And Fione. <laughs> I don't have anything good for a Fione. I have nothing. I guess this will do. Okay. Quickly run through this battle as well. Ooh, I need to switch immediately. Oh, that's it. Hunchko coming in clutch, dude. Beautiful. Got hit by its aftermath, but I don't care. So for anyone who doesn't know, Drifloon and Driftblim have an ability called Aftermath. So when you take it out, it will deal damage back to you as a, a percentage of what your max HP is. It's sort of like a, a big flaming middle finger F you kind of thing. It's like, oh, you took me out? Well, I'm going to take you out too, or at least try to. Right, the final thing I want to do in this episode is I want to quickly grab this encounter because we get a free encounter here. Please be good. Come on. Oh, damn! <laughs> oh, man. We got a freaking Lugia, dude. Let's go. I'm not going to complain about this. I will take a free Lugia. Like, dude, just giving away Lugias at random now. It's adamant, which isn't great, but... Sweet. Alright, well... Okay, we got to Veilstone. Next episode, we're going to be taking on Veilstone Gym. I'm also going to check the shops here and stuff like that. So yeah, I'll see you guys in the next one. Hey everyone, thank you for watching today's video. Above is a preview of the previous upload, and if you want to see more content like this, don't forget to subscribe, please, because we're trying to grow on the platform. Don't forget to turn on the notification bell to be notified of all uploads and live streams. And if you liked the video, why not leave it a like? It really does help other people to find my videos, and don't forget to comment down below on any content you want to see, or what you thought about this video specifically. Let me know, and I will see you guys in the next one.